Okay, this can be difficult if you don't follow the procedure in um, what I'm giving you. Now, you see the parabola graph. Now, you have to write the equation. So this is the equation's template. Okay, it's written out for you on the first problem. Y equals A times the, parent, the quantity X minus H to the second power plus K. <coughs> as soon as we know our A, our H, and our K, we've solved this. We have the equation that we want. So, how do you do that? Well, the first thing is you need to label your vertex, x, y. Now, start in the middle, and you're going left. Neg and you're counting by negatives. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Then you're going down, so you can count by negatives on the y. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, because this is the x, this is the y. Positives on X are this way, negatives are on this way. Y, positives, negatives. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is my X. Then Y, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, that is not actually what we're going to use for X and Y. Once you've labeled that X, Y, cross them out, go underneath and put H, K. Those are my H, K values. So H is negative 4. Yes, you are going to put negative 4 after the minus, and then K is negative 3. Okay, so easy enough. We know those two, but the pain in the butt is finding your A. So I'm going to put finding... A. We have to find the A coefficient. Now in order to find A, we have to get rid of the X and the Y down here, not here. Okay, The X and Y are going to stay up here. We have to replace them down here. We've got our H, we have our K. X, Y, you pick one of these points. I usually go with the one on the right. That's just me. So this is actually going to be X, Y. So negative 1, negative 2, and then 1 on Y. You're back negative 2, then up, so it's positive 1. Now, every variable here except A has to be replaced. So Y is going to be 1 equals A is what we're finding. That's why we keep the A. Then parentheses, X needs to be replaced with negative 2. And then minus negative 4. Just put minus negative 4, and then after you close the parentheses, you need the second power. You can't forget the second power. And then plus a negative 3. Now, we need to find out what the heck this parentheses to the second power before we do anything else, before we apply our linear properties. A times, here's what you can do. First off, you're minusing a negative, make it plus plus, please. So people don't mess this up. I want you to go parentheses negative 2 plus 4, close it, and hit the second power key next to the 7. It's going to be 4 because negative 2 plus 4 is 2, and 2 to the second power is 4. So it's A times 4. So that's been found, and then we put plus negative 3. Now you solve for the A. So we circle the A times 4. We have to take out the negative 3 with adding 3. It's just written backwards. Usually it's 4 times A, but multiplication, the order doesn't really matter. So 4 equals A times 4. Then we get rid of multiplication by dividing. What times 4 equals 4? Well, I'm guessing it's 1. But we'll apply the linear properties. 1 equals A. Now, here's how you write your answer. You just line it up. Y and X stay the way they are. So 1 times x minus negative 4 to the second power and then plus negative 3. There's your answer, but if you have x minus negative 4, I want you to switch it over to x plus plus 4 so it's, because it's actually x plus 4. Okay. Go over three more. Okay, your template, similar to how you do y equals mx plus b from a line. Same concept. A times the parentheses x minus h to the second power plus k. 
Okay, and we have to again find A, H, and K. Well, HK, as you know, is the vertex, okay? So X, Y, I will be taking those out and putting HK right here. Vertex is the middle, either the maximum or the minimum. So an X, one, two, three, three, okay? Then Y, one, two, three, four, five. So three, five. So remember, that is not going to be X, Y, though. That's going to be your H, K. So three is your H. And five is your K. Okay, now we have to find our A. Finding A. Okay, so we're going to need to replace Y and X. We already have the HK replacements, but Y and X is one of these side points. I usually go with the one on the right. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 1, 2. So 7, 2. So that means every variable here has to be replaced but the A, if you're going to solve for A. So get this Y out of there, and you're replacing that with the value 2. Get the X out of there, you're replacing that with the value 7. Minus 3 to the second power plus 5. Now we have all the variables but A replaced. Now I can solve for A. Just plug that into a calculator. It's 16, 7 minus 3 to the second, okay? Because it would be 4 to the second, which is A times 16. Don't forget the plus 5. So you're solving for A using linear properties. So you got times and plus. You circle the times, you get rid of the plus 5 with minus 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And you get rid of the times 16 with divided by 16. And now A will be solved for. Negative 3 divided by 16, I don't want that nonsense. Click second PRB. It's negative 3 sixteenths. That's your A value. Okay. Now write it out so it looks nicer. Okay. So negative 3 sixteenths times, and then X. Y and X are in your answer. Okay. You replace them to find the A, but back up here, the Y and the X go back to what, the way they are. Minus 3 to the second plus 5. Now, if you want to test whether that's right, you can go negative 3 ABC 16 times parentheses and pick, e one, pick 7 for X, just substitute 7 for X minus 3, close it, hit the second power key, plus 5. If it equals 2, okay, it's right. It equals 2. All right, next problem. Don't forget the second power, okay? All right, so the, the Y, or not the Y, the Y and the X stay in the answer. It's the A, the H, and the K we need to figure out. So HK is figured out by your vertex, okay? So on X, moving right, one, two, three. Now, Y is moving down, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. But that's not going to be the X, Y. That's going to be the H, K. Okay? So 3 is H, negative 3 is K. you got to get it right. It's not K, H. It's H, K. My initial's backwards. Okay? All right, now we have to find A. Finding A. Okay, if we're going to find A, then Y and X have to be replaced down here, not up here, down here. So that's what these other points are for, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then negative 1, okay? 
So we'll get y out and put negative 1 in its place. A is what we're solving for. Take x out and put 6 in its place. 6 minus 3 to the power of 2 and then plus negative 3. A times, now figure out what the heck A would be times by. Well, it's 6 minus 3 to the second. It's 9. Okay, so you got multiplication and addition of negative 3. So you add 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is going to be 2. Then how do you get rid of multiplication? You divide. And there's the A value. 2 divided by 9. I don't want that. Hit second PRB and then it takes you to the exact fraction. I'm not against decimals, just not those ones that go on forever. That looks stupid. Okay, now y is equal to 2 ninths. Then x, x minus 3 to the second power plus negative 3. Okay, you want to test your answer, go 2 ninths times, and we'll put 6 in place of the x to the second power plus negative 3. I, when I click equals, I should get the output value, which is negative 1, and I did. Okay, so that is correct, dead on the money. Okay, next problem. Okay, just like that, that's your template to write equation from a parabola. Y equals M mx plus b is the line. This is your parabola template. So, you take out a, a, h, and k. We need to be figured out. h, k is easy. It's the vertex. So, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and then negative 1. Okay? But that's not going to be your x, y, it's going to be your h, k. So h is 4, and k is negative 1. Now you have to find a, finding a. Okay, so I need to pick another point. I'll pick this one, okay? Because I need, I, I, have, I have h and k. I need to get x and y out of here if I plan on solving for a, finding the value for a. So we'll go with this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is x. Negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4 is, is y. Okay. Okay, so y. Get y out of there and replace it. Remember, every ver I shouldn't see any letters down here but a. Then x, that would be your 7 minus 4 the second plus negative one. Now figure out what that equals. Seven minus four to the second power. Well it's nine. Seven minus four is three. Three to the second is nine. Just plug it in the calculator so you don't mess it up. Then plus negative one. So A is over here, plus, times and plus, so you highlight the times, and you take out the plus, minus 1. So it's negative 3 equals A times 9. For some of you saying that the answer is negative 3, no, stop that. You're dividing by the number that's multiplied by A, which is 9, okay? 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3, but negative 3 divided by negative 9, totally different ballgame. I don't want that. Hit second PRB, negative one third. Okay, so that's your A value. So Y equals negative one third times the quantity X minus four, and then plus negative one. Perfect. Okay. Don't you go plus plus if it's minus followed by a negative. It's just a minus and then the integer you leave it. Okay. 
So let's put in 7 for x, see if that's right. Negative 1 abc3 times parentheses. I'll put 7 minus 4 to the second plus negative 1. For those of you who are always wondering, am I doing this right? This is how you check it. Just insert your x, and you should get negative 4 as the output. I did, so it's right.